Okay, guys, I'm back with my freaking third rant of the night. Like, the third rant of the night. If you're still watching this video, I just want to say thank you, because this is a freaking, like, third video. So, the Wizards have been the disappointment of the league this season, and like I said earlier, you sometimes just wish this, this team could just be blown up, or this team needs to be blown up, and, um, the front office to realize what they're doing is wrong. Like, first of all, we have a, the 15th pick in the draft this year. We need to draft a center, okay? We need to trade Bradley Beal. I think that'd be wonderful. We could get some assets for him. And I just don't feel like he's, he's matching with the team. Like, if you have these two together now for the past, like, five or six years, and we haven't been able to go past the second round, and before, um, it was, you know, it was, um, with vets and stuff. Like, we don't have no type of vet, no type of person to, like, really put them in check. Like, right now, they're really feeling themselves. They're still feeling themselves. And they're saying things like, oh, yeah, we could go home. We could get, you know, we could get. We have this opportunity. We have, we, we've been like this before. Uh, we've been down. We've been down 204 and came back and leveled up the series. That was against Isaiah Thomas and the Boston Celtics. Five feet nine Isaiah Thomas and a, and a, and a, the, the, uh, uh, a Celtics team. A freaking Celtics team. You couldn't beat Celtics on their worst day this year without Kyrie, without, like, six of their other players. You still could barely beat them by, like, one point in double overtime. Double overtime. And you're still saying that you're going to beat the number one seed who has the deepest bench in the league, who's fifth in defense and, like, fourth in offense, and you really feel like you're just going to go back home. It's not even like you have a great home record anymore. You don't have a great home record anymore. You don't have home, you don't have that home court feel like people really be cheering for you guys like that. People don't really show up to the games as much as they used to. Like, stop playing like y'all got this in the bag. Realize what it is. Play like you have some sense. Play like you're desperate and play like you freaking want to win. Hustle. Have heart. It's late, guys. I need to stop yelling so loud because I have neighbors and stuff. But like, hustle. Have heart. Play with heart. Like, play like you really want to win. Like, what's up with this team? Like, they really need to do better. They really need to do better. They need to blow. They need to fire Ernie Grunfield first and foremost. That's number one thing. Fire Scott Brooks because he's not worth it. He's on a three-year deal, I think. Just let it go. Just, just, just pay him whatever's owed and tell him to go home. He's a wonderful man. He needs to raise his kids and just be a great father and a future grandfather. Like, he's a wonderful man, but he's not right for this coaching stuff. Literally, just keep going to Wall and Beal. Wall and Beal are destroying this team. They're cancers together. The two of them act like retards. They act like they're better than everybody else. Not really that they're not shit. Do you not realize that? Like, there's a difference between having confidence and being absolutely delusional. At this point, you're absolutely delusional. Um, fire them both. When when the bench was on a, a run and got the lead down to 14, it looked like they were really gonna start taking over. What did Scott Brooks do? He put the starters in. He always just puts the starters in as if the starters do anything better. The starters have no energy. They play no defense. They're not hungry. They're not willing to play like they want to win. They just think everything's going to be handed to them. Like things are going to be made easy because they're there and because they have talent. Talent, 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 hard work beats talent when talent fails to work hard. And that talent is failing miserably to work hard. You're not even doing anything. What is your problem? They make people sick. And I don't want to say I'm giving up on my team or that my team is trash. I'm not giving up on my team or anything like that. I'm just speaking reality right now. You have to be a realist. You can't just be a stan and just, just believe that everything's just going to go great. Like, you have to be speak reality. Reality. Bradley Beal, I feel like he's the one that needs to be traded. Because I feel like John Wall needs to be traded. But ain't nobody going to take on that long-ass contract. He's, like, good until 2023, and he's owed, like, $200 million. Like, I don't think anybody's going to take that contract unless they really want him. But I really feel like we need to draft the center. We need another shooting guard, another young, fit shooting guard. We need youth. We really need youth. We don't need these old guys anymore. And if we're going to get old guys, they need to be strong veterans that can provide a presence for us. Excuse me. And hold hold them accountable and bring leadership to the team because Wall and Bill are not leading anything. I don't know what the hell they think they're doing, but they're not leading shit. They're not even leading their dog on itself. They look like lost dummies. It's just sickening to watch a team deteriorate like that, especially a team that had such high hopes, a team that really could have been the number one or two seed, a team that could have easily won over 50 games. They took this shit seriously and stopped disrespecting other teams in the NBA. Like, what is wrong with you? You are still disrespecting other teams in the NBA. And to think someone said that the Wizards wanted to see the Raptors. They wanted to see the Raptors because they thought, 
oh, we saw them a few years ago. Do you not realize it's a different team? The only two people that are the same on this dog on the team are probably DeMar DeRozan and Kyle Lowry. I don't even think Ibaka is the same from off the from the original team. I don't remember, but that's the only two people that's the same. You're sickening. You really think this is the same team. This bench is way deeper. This this team is way better coached now. This team has realized their mistakes. They've grown. What have you done? What have you done to better yourself over the offseason other than call yourself a wolf and you idiot been calling yourself a damn panda this whole time? Sickening. 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 Disgusting. Make you want to throw up. Yelling at my screen. Almost a burst of blood vessel. I have a, you know, I cannot deal with this. I have health issues. Like, you people are killing America. You people are killing citizens in America the way you're acting. And I don't mean to blame it on them, but this is how you're stressing your fans. You're stressing your fans. Like, other teams, you need to do better than this. You just need to do better than this. You're really stressing your fans out. I'm not going to say you're killing people in America, but you're really stressing your fans out. You're really stressing your fans out. You're killing us. You're killing our hope for DC sports, although we shouldn't have any hope. But you're killing our hope, okay? You're killing our hope. That's what you're doing. You're killing our hope. Sickening. Sickening. You are the reporter, Mr. Millions and Millions Dollar Man, not doing shit. Barely doing shit. You, Markeith Morris, Mr. X Factor, Mr. Extinct on the court, uh, uh, right there with the dinosaurs, extinct with the dinosaurs. You, Mr. Gortat, you shaved your head. I hope that does something for you. I hope, I hope, I hope thoughts can get back into your brain, okay? You, Kelly Oubre, who doesn't do nothing but stand around and try to shoot threes and say, oh, Drake, that's my guy. That's my guy. Drake's my guy. Oh, yeah. We run the streets, not on no hood shit, but on and some LA shit. On some LA shit. On some what shit, boy? On some nut shit, boy. You sound dumb, boy. You sound stupid, you little idiot. Jody Meeks, you're on crack. Saturansky, you need to step the hell up, bitch, before we send you back from where you came. And no offense, I ain't mean to call you a bitch. Who, who, who gives a shit? Who gives a shit? Because they're not watching these freaking videos anyway. Why am I worried? Why do I care? Because you don't. You don't even freaking care. None of you people care. Y'all all some bitches. Y'all all some bitches, for real. You know? Y'all all some bitches. If I see y'all, I'm going to still say what's up. But y'all still some bitches. You know what I mean? You can admit. You can be a realist and say that y'all some bitches. Tell my Drake, my God. You, really, you and Drake calling niggas a buck tea and all type of shit. I heard that means crackhead. And all that. You're a Bakhti, my God. You really got Drake out here looking like he has sense. You really have Drake disrespecting you and then it's holding up because you're playing like bums, one. Nigga called you a bum. The first thing you say is, oh, that's my God. <laughs> Bless my God on some on some alien shit and on some hood shit. But you claim you're from the hood, though, bitch. <sighs> Sickening. Y'all got Drake looking right out here. Drake, who's been dying since the day he was born to be an NBA wife. Drake's been dying to be a basketball wife since 1986. It's October 1986. He's been dying to be a basketball wife. And you're letting him live his dream right now and embarrass you on national TV in front of 44 million of his followers. You freaking buck tees, whatever the hell that means. That's what you act like. Is that all I wanted to say? I think so, guys. I think I'm tired. I think that's all I wanted to say. Screw you guys. Peace, guys. It's your girl, Denise. Thanks for watching. Really love you guys. Really appreciate you guys. For everything you've done. Bye, guys. Love you guys.